Why are we both wearing camo hats? Second off. Ew, that's gross. I didn't realize that. Second off, what happened? Can you tell I'm annoyed? Yes, I can. I mean, I don't think it's probably visible to the viewers. Well, I'm more talking about what the F happened. Why haven't we posted in four months after not posting for six months? Oh, and saying we're, we're talking back. about two different things. Yeah. I'm talking about why I'm annoyed. Why are you annoyed? I didn't even know you well, were annoyed. Well, we could touch on the first one first, probably. What happened? There's, yeah. no, there's no explanation. Yeah, so we don't suck. even try to give a reasoning. I think I'm just going to title the video, We Suck. Yeah, I think that's probably accurate. So does the setup we got going on here, okay? It's so bad. And I, I mean, it's the most comfortable one we could figure out, but I am a tad uncomfortable. I won't lie to you. I won't lie. My back is hurting quite bad, but it's going to work. My neck is... We're what, like 12 seconds in this thing and we're already both in pain, whatever. You know, we deserve it. Yeah, we suck. Again, that is going to be the title. I think I'm just going to say we suck, all lowercase. Emma Chamberlain style. Mm, that is her new thing. Yeah, we suck. But, um, so what? Why are you, I didn't even know you were annoyed. What are you mad about? That's a lie. You did know I was annoyed because I, I just walked in the um, apartment full of rage and fury because Denver... I want you to look over there. I know. She's a being a sweet little baby angel. I right wish now. we had a setup where we could yeah, twist this. For those of you who don't know, Denver is our, our chocolate lab. And she's nine months old, almost 10 months old. And I'm just like, I've taken her out literally five times today. And she will not take a poop. <laughs> and I know that she has to. And she just pulling my strings, dragging me everywhere. I don't know. Why do I get so worked up over this stuff? Because now that I'm saying it out loud, it is very stupid. But like when mm -hmm. I was out there, I was ready to just like drop yeah, the Yeah, she leash. came <laughs> in full rage mode. And I said, get out of the way. She's going to throw something. Which she did. She threw the leash on the on counter. On the table, yeah, I did. And if that broke, I'm suing Well, you. I was just feeling a little frustrated. That's all. I just like go to the bathroom. I literally know you have to go. And I, what's going to happen? This is why it works me up. She's going to have to go in the middle of this. She's going to whine. Look at her. She's dead asleep. She's sad. She knows she upset no, you. No, and then this is the other thing that around. No, this is the other thing that makes me mad. She needs two walks a day and we can't provide that right now. We're giving her one. Well, it's also 135 out. Not right now, but it was. I get it, but I just feel like we need to be taking her to play with other dogs. I don't know. It's a whole thing. Or I think I'm mad at myself. We get another dog. No. Oh. Absolutely not. Yeah, well, there you go. What a little intro. Um, yeah, I wish we could have a valid excuse why we didn't post. And it's just very awkward because the last video we did, we're like, we'll be we're back. Like, we're, we're back. Gonna, we're like, back, This people. is consistent. We took like six months off. We're back. We're going to be posting more videos than we've ever posted in our entire life before. Boom, four months later. But we do have solid excuses. We've just been busy. But now our schedule is actually kind of normal. We have no excuse. I mean, we were, our schedule was a mess. Like the only times we would have been able to record is like 9 p.m. Yeah, after true. working all day. But now our days are pretty normal. We're waking up super early, like 5, 5.30, getting to work, doing our stuff, being bada boom. And now we might have the afternoon off some days, so we might just record some freaking podcast or whatever, video, yeah, blogs, whatever this blogs, is, whatever we're doing. If we're entertaining enough to muck people. Mukbangs, all the above. That's what we're going to do. Maybe, potentially. I don't know. Now, you guys, if we do indeed post the second video. Oh, look who it is. Oh. She making oh, no. it. <laughs> Can you guys see it? <laughs> Can you guys see the puppy? Hello. If she whines, if she whines right now, you're going to have to turn off this video because I will scream. Oh. I won't hurt her. Look at her. You have oh. to get her. Wait, get her in a cuter spot. Denver, come here. Come here. Come Denver. Here. Look. Look. Come, come here. here. Come, come here. here. Come here. Get over here, puppy. Come here. Oh, come yes. Here. Crawl. Come here. Crawl. <gasps> Look. Oh, wait. Let's inter Let's try to. No, because then she's going to get on the table. I'll do this. <gasps> Look. Come here. Come on. Sit. Uh, every time. Sit down. Sit down. Good. Boom. <laughs> right in the. Oh. Wait. Move the flowers. <laughs> Move the flowers. Oh, this is gold. This is gold. Wait, smile. This is a good. Uh, Thumbnail. <laughs> okay, that's that's something. Um, so yeah. Okay, well now everyone's gonna think I'm a jerk. Yeah, you, she got mad you. at this thing for not going to the bathroom. Aww. How is that even possible? I've never even heard of that. But um, what's new? Like literally, nothing new has happened. Our dog's a little older. That is about the only change is her age. My birthday is. <clears throat> 
He's coming up. About that it's also thing. very weird though because like these people probably watch me every day when I just post MLB the show. Yeah, that's stuff. true. So it's like uh, I do kind of forget sometimes we're absolutely catering to your audience. True. So it's like no one cares what I've been doing. What have you been doing? Same old, same old. Okay, puppy, please just I'll just hold you up right here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this dog. And Claire was literally mad at this thing five minutes no, ago. No, honestly, don't even. I I would say t- to you. I'm a little mad at you because I've taken her out five times today, Four. but I am going on a trip and I did think about that. Walk. Yeah. Listen, listen, don't before you act like I made the best point in, in your defense. Okay. I'm going out of town. So I thought to myself, you know what? Probably for the next couple of days, I should carry the weight and take you her should, out. you should because she's going to New York. Leaving me with the little pup. Again, this is like her fourth trip. I haven't left her solo with the puppy once. And she left me when it was a puppy. When I somehow, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go bass fishing with, I don't know, Dr. Phil one of these days. She's going to be like three years old. And she's not going to be a pain. I had to keep her solo as a puppy. Like, it was brutal, bro. But, um, yeah, so that's that. Um, You're just trying to find something to talk about, aren't you? Kind of. We're a little rusty. Like, usually you have a little skit, but I don't know. What are, like, what are you doing? Like, what is, what are you, what's some of your hobbies these days? You like crime podcasts? Tell me, t- tell me a crime. Oh, you know what people do on podcasts? They like talk, uh, this a lot of the times they like talk about what they're watching. I think we we've did done this, this last before. Time. Yeah, yeah, you said, uh, I believe the last time you said you watched Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah. What I'm watching right now is my cryptocurrency go up and down on a daily basis i can't listen to it okay sorry uh i don't think i'm really watching anything no it's just like you talk about your crypto and your nfts and it's like blah 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 blah. i literally own one nft okay i don't be like oh i I live in wait how it wait how is that doing by the way i lost it all you lost it all i forgot to tell you we're going to end the lease on this no seriously it's uh you know not great i think that's a good story I think you should elaborate. But I don't think any of these people know what an NFT is. Just give it the little quickie, you know. I bought a JPEG, which is an image, for $2,000. Wait, let's just say Assuming- this. If you want it, if you don't know what a J- an NFT is, just Google it. It's very confusing. Think about what a do- like a Bitcoin is. You know how you don't really own anything, but you own it. You yeah. Know? Uh, it's like that, but it's a picture, okay? I bought this thing called an Al Cabone. It's like Al Cap- Capone. But in a skeleton form. Wait, is, and Al, Capone, 10, is Al Capone? Um, He's like that Italian like, gangster guy. Like, the what? one that's like, uh, say hello to my little friend. That's the Godfather, I believe. Oh. I think that's Don Corleone. Oh, Wait, so no. Then who's Al Capone? That's Scarface. That's Scarface. Wait, I who's think. Al Capone? <laughs> like a legit Italian. Oh, like a real guy. Yeah. The I Godfather's think. just like a story. <laughs> I think The Godfather's a movie. Maybe there was a Godfather. I don't know. Okay. okay. Anyways, uh, I bought this thing called an Al Cabone and the release was terrible. Pretty much you buy something hoping to get a rare one and uh, it generates a random image. You know, you can get some rare traits like hair, glasses, whatever it is. I got a top thousand rarity, but when they dropped, they had to postpone it. People said it's a scam. The price dropped yeah, after I already bought it. It was a mess. My bad. And I'm done. Wait. So how much is it worth now? Not a lot. It's pretty much I lost everything. What is going on with her leg? I don't know. I think she's like maybe a little uncomfortable because of the pillows. I wish you guys could see her head, but Claire's big microphone is blocking it. But Here, we'll go like this. Oh, you're going to lift her head up a little bit? Nice. I still don't think they can see. Now she's ticked. She goes, I was comfortable. Maybe maybe they can see it. I don't know. It's It'll be close. Maybe. I don't know. She is zonked out. Will you please move your microphone for like 10 seconds so these people can see what... This is what Claire was just mad at, by the way. I can just hold my microphone like this for a sec. You should see what she yells at me for. No. D- she yelled at me. Va- it was valid being mad. It was valid. It was ridiculous. I don't know. And Anyways, she knows what she's doing. That's my problem. Is she's manipulative. Just kinda like, like her father. Kind of like her mother. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? So what else? So you're... Uh, wait, what? What we're, oh, what we're watching. What are you watching? This oh, is difficult, God. holding this mic like this. Oh, is it difficult? Don't, yeah. Don't say, oh, God. <laughs> Hold on, I can't do it. This, okay, I mean, they've seen Denver enough. Yeah, you guys right? you like, guys get the... They get the point. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, I don't really want to talk about what I'm watching. It's I'll embarrassing. tell you what she's watching. No, it's embarrassing. Vampire Slayers. It's called Diaries. Attack the zombie people. It's Literally, called Diaries. It's, this is the plot of the story. Vampire eats person. Person dies. Person comes back alive because they're a vampire. Boom. Rinse and repeat. You know what? It's good. And, I, and this is the debate. You could never, ever create a show like that. And you're always like, oh, I could write TV shows. Do it. Do it. I literally could. No, you couldn't. I could literally come up with a better plot. It's the same thing. I don't even watch the show. And I watched for about one second. And I predicted what was going to happen. That is true. You did that one time. but Claire's like, oh my God, time. oh my God. I said, literally, someone's going to be there to boom, bada, bing. I won't ruin it just in case someone is watching Vampire Diaries. But yeah, I don't really watch anything, to be honest. I watch some YouTube videos, but I don't got anything as good as the uh, the thing. But what are you drinking there, Claire? A diet orange sun kiss? Pretty much the best. I think the best diet soda that ever existed, which is sun kiss orange zero sugar not sponsored uh because we suck yeah just like the title we suck but honestly okay i don't know if you would call this a soda i mean i guess it is a soda but like would you call grape soda a soda because i wouldn't it's in its own classification it's like fanta or something but of a diet i think it's pretty good now you have a zero sugar root beer i know it says soda I get that it's a soda, but it, it doesn't. It's not name, really a soda. Like, I feel like there's no debate if that's a soda. I'll be honest with you. Orange soda. I don't think I've ever had a zero sugar. Root I won't beer. lie. That burns the throat. It tastes pretty like much like root beer, but it hurts my esophagus going like down the pipe. Did you know that root beer is caffeine free? <laughs> yeah, Claire didn't know root beer was caffeine free, and I just wanted to know where she was raised. You know, wait, like, but did did you also know that not non no one cares about this, but non sugar free root beer has like seventy two grams of sugar in it. It's like so high in sugar. What? Oh, I see what you're saying. It's like so high. Non sugar free, so regular root yeah, beer. Yeah, I guess I said that pretty confusingly. Yeah, you did. We probably just lost four viewers. I, no, I mean I'm sure we've lost a lot of people. True. But if you guys are still here, we love you and we will adopt you if necessary. It's just sometimes kind of hard to talk about things because I literally see you all day, every day. That's true. That's true. I do have a good story, though. <laughs> Let me hear it. Because our lives are just work in Denver. I was taking Denver on a walk the other day talking, you know, Were you speaking. mad at her this no. time or no? You weren't mad at her this time? Okay. I wasn't mad at her this time. I was taking her on a long walk. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like the good owner I am. And her paw is just sprawled. You can see it. too. <laughs> and um, she is really fast. So she wanted to sprint and we're on this grassy hill. Mm-hmm. All right. We're on this grassy hill and there's a, um, it was gorgeous outside and uh, kind of like me or what? No. Better? Worse. I mean. Worse than me? Y- uh, Thank you. You're worse than the weather. But it you was didn't go- say that. Okay, so it was liar? gorgeous out, and there was a lot of people on the trail. That's an important. Inf- that's important. Okay, so we're going on the. I'm walking on this trail. She gets all hyped up from this dog. I'm just like, all right, I'll let her sprint. But she runs so fast, and also I have a leash that goes around my waist. It's a hands-free leash, so she runs so fast when she's fully sprinting that she's like, she's like carrying me, you know. Like, remember when you used to, like, band people on, tr- like, if you were doing, like, a track workout or whatever, and you would have those, like, bands, those workout bands, and you would, like, hold them back? Yeah. Did you actually do that? Yeah. Because you're just kind of looking at me like... Yeah, we did it. Okay. okay. Morning runnings. So, college baseball. Terrible. So, I... It was like that. She's carrying me. She veers down this hill... Well, pulling you. Practically carrying me. How is that physically possible? Because if you're getting tugged... Like, would you say, if you were to say, like, you're pulling a boat, would you say you're carrying a boat or you're pulling a boat? Well, I don't know, because, like, I think if I said, oh, these huskies were pulling you, carrying the sleigh, you would understand what I was saying. I th- I don't think anyone's ever said these huskies are carrying the sleigh. Okay. I think you mean Santa's she was pulling me. reindeer are carrying him because they're flying. Yeah. She was carrying me. <laughs> okay. So you were on her back with a saddle mm-hmm. like a horse. Yep. No, so she was pulling me. It's so irrelevant to the story. Well, I just think the people need to understand our little uh, puppy can't uh, carry okay, you. Okay, okay, that's fair. She was pulling me. I pulling, really okay. hope people understood that. I get what you're saying now. Okay. Um, Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
we've absolutely lost a lot of people. So she was <laughs> pulling me and she veered down the hill. It was a pretty steep hill, but I was like, I got to let her go. This was after side note, we had a long work day. So she hadn't worked out. I hadn't had any activity the day before. So I was like, I got to let her, you know, fly. Yeah. I go let her be free. So I kind of go down the hill with her, but the hill dropped off a lot quicker than I was anticipating. And I rolled the living crap out of my ankle. And then I um, fell on my side and she didn't notice for about five seconds. So she was just dragging me down this hill. So she's not carrying you or lifting you what did you say Carry? i said carrying carrying you she's not carrying you anymore she's dragging you mm-hmm. interesting and i got up as fast as i possibly could because there was probably a hundred people on this trail and it's like a huge wide open space so there wasn't a hundred people in a small space they were like all spread out but i was like oh my gosh someone just saw me my did shoulders messed up no i was very i was soaked though because the hill was wet hmm. wow I thought you said the day was gorgeous. Why was the grass wet? I don't know. Maybe it rained the night before. Okay. That's a good story. What happened? Did you hit her or something? What do you mean what happened? I literally just told you the story. No, I know, but what was like, what did you have to recover? Did you go to the hospital? What? I stood up and I was extremely embarrassed and I thought to myself, I can't believe I almost just rolled my ankle before. Or, well, I thought to myself, I can't believe I just rolled my ankle before this trip. I was actually really mad. And I was, I was mad at Denver. I didn't do anything to her. I didn't like, yell at her or anything i was just like oh why and then i was like no that was my fault because her carry you yeah i shouldn't have gone down the hill with her in the first place when she started to veer off i should have just held my own but i was just like trying to let her you know be free hmm. nice yeah i don't have a story that can top that i know but what i do have is a suggestion Ugh. long john silvers for dinner Yes or no? No. Well, I was more not <laughs> asking permission. I was offering no, to get you, you can, some. Oh. Yeah, I'm going. Oh, you're going. Yeah. I was just saying, would you like me to buy you... There's a bug by you. Would you like me to buy you Where? some fish? Maybe a French fry or I two? I think it's a mosquito. Whoa, I think you just actually got that. I think you just swatted that out of the air. I'm not joking. <laughs> These hands are violent, baby. I feel like that might be from... Hello. Hello, Denvi. What are you doing? Taking a nap? What are you dreaming about? Birds? I don't know. Yeah, last podcast we did, though, they saw the puppy. You guys got to let us know if she looks a little bit bigger. Yeah, what? That was like four months ago? Yeah, I don't even know. Years. Wait, so she was... We had only had her for what? Four days. No. No. That's Four months. True. No, we didn't get her when she was born. It was probably four months. I don't know. She was young. Did you really, you're really yawning no, right I'm now. I'm crying. If you're yawning, imagine what the other people are on That's the That's what I'm side saying. Spice it up. I did. Call I just told you literally the best story name. I have ever had. What do you want me to tell these people? And about? your reaction was quite honestly subpar. Well, it's because you already told me the story. But like you could at least fake it. I did. I feel like I sold that beautifully. How you said she was no, carrying you were me. Like and I said, this. How you was like, a puppy you were like carrying? This. Yeah. Wow. Well, I was more thrown like, back. Oh my gosh. No, I was more thrown back that you said she was carrying you. I okay, said, tell I me a story that I've heard and I'll give you a, re- a, a real a fake reaction. Okay. Um, root beer. Yeah. Is caffeine free. What? I, I literally never knew that. Like all root beer is caffeine free or like, like yeah. root beer in general. You just said that earlier though. I've never heard that. You just said it. God, that changes my entire life because like when I was a kid, we used to get root beer floats and I used to think my mom was like giving us caffeine when we were younger. That's crazy. Wow. But you already said, you already said that or you brought that up earlier. How'd you already forget? I never heard that. But you said it. Andrew. <laughs> I'm just saying that was, that was a C minus effort. Not as Tell bad. me something that I've never heard of. I don't have anything to tell you. This is the problem. This is why we need another person on this podcast because Denver, our we puppy. already know everything and well no we don't know everything we think we're entertaining but we're not i mean i think what we got to do is this we're just going to go to uh 
What's like a trusted news source if that exists? I feel I like every news exists. source is like 50-50. No, I want to see something crazy that's going on. Let's go here and let's go... Uh, let's say uh, crazy news stories. Let, you know, let's just go ahead and see here. Strange news. Rare Pokemon Oreos are selling for thousands of dollars on eBay. Next. What? Since when did Pokemon have Oreos? Is it like a... Oh, that's cool. Wow. I wish you guys could see this. Um, ooh. Oh, I actually did see this. You want to know how terrible I am at stocks? Uh, sure. This is how crazy this is, okay? This is the world we live in. You want me to read you the title? Sure. A crypto trading hamster performs better than Warren Buffett and the S&P 500. Do you know what that means? No. It means this hamster is able to pick trades better than Warren Buffett. So how does that work? Does the person like have a hamster and then they put an option in front of the hamster and then the hamster goes and touches it? Because um, obviously the, the hamster doesn't have crypto, you know, because it's a hamster. Well, here's what I can tell you. The hamster's portfolio is up nearly 20% since he started trading in June. According to his Twitter account, and as of September 12th, he was better performing better than Bitcoin. Jesus Christ. I'm, what is this I'm just a bit confused at how a hamster is... You know, I don't know the methods behind the practice. How is that legal? We what like you got? a hamster, so like we can have Denver like become like we can just. Ex, like, I don't know if you know like, this. She's not a hamster. She's a dog. Okay, we need a hamster. We're going to Petco right after this. How to is pick that up legal? Show me Look the hamster up. code of law, and I'll tell this you. This is why. one of my pet peeves right here. When people have, we have access to the biggest search engine ever why don't people just look things up well like i'm curious right now how what is would be illegal about that how is a hamster legally because it's not a human it doesn't have a social security i don't think it has a robin hood account then how is it trading maybe uh maybe it does have a robin hood account i don't this know this is what i'm saying google it you want me to read this entire thing for you this is all i'm saying if there's a question you have Oh, wait, here we go. In this world, all you have to do is Google it, and I can I literally can guarantee you within 10 minutes, you'll at least have some type of answer. I got you. This is like... Did you quick, Google it? No, I'm reading the whole article. Oh. It says, a hamster who works... Why is my phone playing? I don't know, but that is creepy. I thought there was like a I thought there like was like a, a choir going. or something. Yeah, in that, that was so awesome. weird. Anyways, it says a hamster who works out of what is possibly the most high-tech hamster cage in existence. It's designed so that when Mr. or when the hamster runs on the hamster wheel, he can select among dozens of cryptocurrencies, then deciding between two tunnels he chooses whether to buy or sell. According to the Twitch account for the hamster, his decision is sent over to a real trading platform and yes, real money is involved. You're telling me this little hamster How is this legal? He's not doing what? Oh my god! This hamster's Who, probably treated what like bank a, account is this? Ham, does this hamster have a bank account? Like I don't get it. No, he just moves around. He sees oh this cryptocurrency. He runs in one tunnel or two tunnel number two to buy or to not to buy. He says buy. Someone buys it based okay, upon so a decision. Okay, so who's the owner of this hamster? Because that's the person who's actually He's rich. Probably the staying, hamster isn't getting the money. Yeah, the hamster's probably getting a lot of little blueberries or something. Okay, I had a hamster before. Yeah, that died. Why say it, you. why'd you say it like no you, my you mom killed it, killed it. no because you you bought it it was your responsibility and then you made no, your mother take no. care of it and that is I bought messed it. up kind of like it. how i've take, taken denver out five times today i bought it and my mom loved it she was feeding it a blueberry one day and he was dead and i cried for weeks his name was rex quando what do you mean May he, he rest- choked on the blueberry no he was just dead in place he was frozen my mom thought he was alive that's so she, sad. She used to get like a blueberry and would like put it in the cage and he would like come up and grab it. Dead. Um. Anyways, let's go. Uh, let's see what else is there. Um. Ooh, look at this. How the pet revolution unleashed a new top dog in America. Which is, the, what's the top? Wait, let me guess. How the pet, can you give me like a paragraph where, you know, like give me a little bit of insight and then I'll, I'll take a guess from what the text is. Um. I'm trying to see if it. They're giving me a lot of reading, and I'm not doing that. We'll find. Well, something maybe more like just the first paragraph. It looks like a corgi, which isn't what I was supposed to do. That's my bad. Um, here you go. This one might make you happy. 
A research vessel found SpongeBob lookalikes a mile under the ocean surface. Wow. That's incredible. That's just um, incredible. There you go. That's SpongeBob for you. That's IRL SpongeBob. That actually is, that I actually wish, is uh, kind of cute. See, this is good info because we could eventually, when we get our podcast more set up, if this video gets 20 million likes and if A&W Sugar Free Root Beer is sponsoring us, we will be able to have the technology to post on the screen what we're doing. That's true. I or mean, if we, we could record now. somewhere else. Yeah, true. I, I do on my phone. I do have a couple of things. But you have to talk to yourself for a minute because I have to go get it. I don't know where my phone is. Okay. Look at this. Lightning bugs, fireflies. Call them what you will. They're awesome. This is actually a good story. And I could probably talk about this for a minute. I used to live in Lee Summit, Missouri. Okay. We used to have lightning bugs. If you guys don't know, they're like little, maybe like uh, fly looking things. But their butts glow yellow, okay? They literally shine yellow at night. So you'll just be standing there and you'll see, bing, and it goes dark. And then, meh, you know? And the other day, me and Claire were actually walking Denver. And uh, are you looking for your phone? Yeah. I think it's over here somewhere. And uh, I saw one. I said, oh, my God, that's a lightning bug. My mind was exploded, okay? I told Claire there was a lightning bug. She goes, what's a lightning bug? And then we caught that thing. I was holding it. It was glowing. Beautiful day. Let me know if you've ever caught lightning bugs. But Claire's got something. What do you got? Tell me it's good. Tell me it's as good as finding real life SpongeBob or lightning bugs. See, I feel like this is what we should do in the podcast, though. What? Talk about weird stuff because that's what's interesting to me. Claire listens to the mystery podcast, yada, yada, yada. No. Wait, I have a good little thing you could do. Let's hear me. Go go into your notes in your phone. Oh, God. And just close your eyes and then pick one. And then you have to, you literally have to read that note. Um, okay. Okay. And then, but the only reason I say this is because I have things in my notes that we can talk about because I jot little ideas down. Okay, but you have to close your eyes. Well, this has like a lot of uh, like video ideas and stuff. Okay. Well. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, and stop. What did I just do? Did you just exit out of it? No, it's golf scores. Okay. Hole one. Read it out loud. Hole one. F dash six. A dash <laughs> eight. F four A five. F six A five. F four A three. Foe twenty six. Andy twenty eight. My brother beat me in golf. Oh, that sounds like a bad score. It's terrible. Okay, okay? ready? I'll go. Yep. Yeah. Wait, I didn't. I didn't click on one. Mm-hmm. What was it? Hmm? Your boyfriend's phone number? It's got to be this a grocery This is weird. List. No, I can't. I can't read this oh, one. Okay. My. Well, maybe it's like a password or something. Sucks. Choose better. That's way too long. That's way too long. This is not good. Okay. This time I'm actually doing it. Oh, nice. That's literally like one word. Read it. One, two. Wait, I don't know if that's an important number. Let me see it. I got it. Hold on. Ready? This is a good one. Buddha's. You have to guess what this is. Okay. Buddha's delight. Cali roll. Teriyaki chicken rice plate. Amazing roll. Extra chicken. That's extra your shrimp, sushi side order. Of stir- <laughs> That's your sushi order. Are you kidding me? All right. Well, that was a fun game. What else you got? No, I have. I'm going back to these news stories. There's some good information on here that could potentially get someone out of trouble someday. I don't know. I know. And I have a good, I have a good thing. I just have to find it. Maybe. Oh, wait, here we go. Mac and cheese is the ice cream you never thought you'd need. And now it's hard to get. Mac and cheese ice cream. Would you eat mac and cheese ice cream? No. Do you even know what I said? Really? I was just reading this funny note I have that's Denver Puke Diary. That's literally the title of it. And Denver it says Puke July seventeenth, seven eight seven fifty four AM, yellow vial, meds, anti vomit, probiotic pumpkin, stool, normal. Oh my god. So don't tell me I don't love this dog. I have a puke diary. Okay, I get that. That's great and everything, but mac and cheese ice cream that's the nastiest thing i've ever heard in my entire life that is disgusting um look at this how many topics i have written down for what a podcast wow i want to show the people maybe you got some private info in there what if there's like something bad in it's, there? there's not let's see load more stories this is some crazy stuff i like this website 
Um, there's a larger than a football field growing sinkhole, and it has swallowed one house and two dogs. Okay, I have some good Googleable things. I mean, I know we're all over the place, but it is what it is. You ready? Is it more uh, interesting than a lobster diver in Cape Cod? Says a humpback whale scooped him up and spat him out. Is it more interesting than I feel than like that? you're saying words, but I'm not digesting them. I don't know why. This guy was in a whale's mouth for 30 to 40 seconds before it tossed him back in the water. Andrew, this sounds like fake news. It's not. This is real news because I got video proof and he did indeed get swallowed and spat out. That's disgusting. I made that last part up, okay. but this is a good website. What's it called? NPR.com. That is not NPR. NPR.org. You tell me that's not NPR.org. Oh, wow. That really is NPR. Is it real news? I would say it's a bit more credible. I thought it was going to be like the onion. Isn't the onion all fake news? I think so. It's like all made up, right? I'm just saying this is bad that I found this because like I could stay on this. Claire, do you know why people are stealing logos? Logo mm-hmm. Legos. Sorry, not logos. Legos. Uh, because they think they're going to be worth money one day. Um, There's a lot of money in Legos. Lego sets come out unlimited. Okay. Thank you. I just lost all. Okay, ready? You yeah. have to Google the, these things. What am I Googling? My questions that I've written down over the years. Kidding? Oh my God. This is the first one. Are you ready? I know the answer. I'm a, I'm a walking encyclopedia. I wrote this down. Just remember this. Do you push out farts when you sleep or do they just seep out? <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're Think just... about it. Are you actually physically going, or yes. do they seep out? Yes. You I don't think you it. push. I think they come out. Google it. I won't Google that. Okay. I don't want you to screw um, up my search history. Who is this lady and why are you here? What, like what you just woke up one day thinking of that or what? This is, this is a good question. This is, doesn't apply all the time, but I would say this is 90% of the time. Why is roadkill? I'm not talking about like a squirrel. I'm talking about like bigger roadkill. Why is it always on the side of the road or like on the side of the highway? Why is it never like where it could have actually been hit? Like what a deer? You're like a dog. A dog. You're I've seen s- a couple dogs. You you and your little puppy hate, okay? No, because you're You said that Peter very happily. You me. go, maybe like a dog? Why'd you say it so happily? No, think about it. That's a good question. Well, deers usually get drug off the road. The person drug smokes off what? the road. How? The person gets out of their car and drags that thing off to the side of the road. That is, there's no way... I've seen it happen. You're telling, okay, so you're telling me the couple of bigger animals, which I've seen, which have included dogs, okay, which is terrible, and it's like the most horrific thing. They're always on the side of the road. It's not like I'm going to hit them. They're on the side of the I road. I mean, also when you're you hit a large animal, You're telling me if you hit a large animal, animal you pull your car over and then pull them off the side of the road? No. Yeah, some people Also, do. who comes and clean the, cleans that up? There's an actual, there's an actual service. There that, is? Yeah. What? And who works there? I don't know, but I I know. would like a name and I'd love to talk to them. This is my point. I will we Google you these to things. Doug. No, they literally. Who picks up road kill? My God, I spell all those words wrong. Uh, it's animal control. But it's but do they the have organization? To be called, or do they just the like- Animal Welfare League, Street Maintenance Department, Department of Envir- Environmental Protection, Public Safety Department? One of those people. They pick it up. Who are the people that pick up road kill? Yeah. People call their police. Okay, say so, okay. Boom. Google this. Why is roadkill always on the side of the road? Because people hit it and it goes flying. So it just ironically always ends up on the side of the road. There's no way. Why is roadkill on the side of the road? How does roadkill always end up on the shoulders? Let's see. Um, small stuff keeps getting hit as long as it's in the road. Whatever. Yeah. Um, math geeks will appreciate this. Um. I'm not, this is... Come on, you're so close to an answer, Andrew. Just read a little bit more. I mean, it's not Come on. Summarize it. Each hit may move the roadkill a little more to one side, a little to the other side, or not at all, or a lot. But eventually, the sum of all its hits moves the roadkill to one side of the road or the other. Then it stops being hit and doesn't move anymore. Wow, you were right. But... But now I know. You know? But I don't know if that guy just made that up. I don't know. But it makes sense. It could get real violent and say like maybe the thing that got hit was like trying to crawl away and it just... Don't. You know, that's you know? too graphic. I won't say it though. 
Um. Wow, that turned real ugly real quick. Can I you ask me more. like a better like? Come on, you're asking some weird. Okay. Well, stuff. there's some of these. Uh, some of these aren't really like questions. They're kind of well, they're not like uh Googleable questions. They're more like you know, relatable questions. Um. Okay, you ready for this? I think everybody. Well, this is my opinion. I think everybody has a shower routine. What's your shower routine? Don't shower. That's my routine. Okay. I use my tooth toothbrush, toothpaste, brush my teeth, hit the pits a little bit, boom, bada bing, done. <laughs> That's how I shower. How do you shower? No, this is what I do. I walk in the shower, hit my head with some shampoo, hit my body with some soap, get the f out. You don't condition. No. When you use shampoo, are you shampooing your beard or no? Occasionally. Do you use my face wash? No. So do you wash your face? No. What? I'm all natty, baby. You don't wash your face. I'm, what does that mean? Wash my face. What like, do you mean? Like take face wash no, and wash I, your face? No, I don't use like a certain product to wash my face. Andrew, that needs to change. Look at my beautiful skin, babe. This is all natty, baby. What you get is what you get, okay? My shower routine is extremely complicated. Claire, okay, wait, that's wait, the wait, degree, wait. The this is what you have to include. Year. How do you dry off? With the towel. No, you're telling me you don't have an exact way you dry off every time. Hair. I work my way down, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think I go top to bottom. You do? I mean, just... My shower routine, I, I've i really thought about this. My shower routine so specific, it's kind of disgusting. It sounds I do the same weird. thing every single time. And if I go out of order, it's kind of like OCD-ish maybe. Because if I go out of order, I kind of feel like, oh, that's wrong. Like something, something something's going to happen. I kind of feel like that. This is what I do. Thanks for asking, by the way. Um, turn the water on. I'm getting real specific here. All right. Turn the water on. Whoops. Um, now I'm blanking. Get in the shower. Get my hair wet, obviously. Well, if I, this is if it's a shampoo day. All right. Get the hair wet. Shampoo first. That's the first thing I do. Then, I'm about to be like Denver here in a minute. She's sleeping, if you guys don't know. <laughs> shampoo? I'm just saying, for it to I'm be just such thinking, a routine, you I know, don't even know it by No, heart. it's so complicated. Shampoo, condition. Why the conditioner is in, I wash my face. Then I wash my conditioner out. Then I uh, rinse my body with soap. Mm -hmm. If I shave, that's a whole other thing. I won't get into that. Um, so then I rinse my body with soap. Then I turn off the water, but before I turn off the water, I wring my hair out once. Then I turn off the water. Then with my hands, I wipe all the water off my body. <laughs> then I take my hair and I flip it really hard, like three times, wring it out again, get out of the shower, always dry my legs off first, then my arms then my face, then flip my hair over, dry off my hair, then put the towel around my body. Well, that's disgusting because you know how water goes down your body? So why would you start on your legs? Because when you work your way up, the water No, I'm sorry. Down. Okay, I get out. I do my face. Then I do my legs. And you say, oh, I do the same thing every single time. You can't even tell me what you do in order? I mean, I'll write it down. Can we get Long John Silver's, please? I don't want it. What do you want for dinner instead? I want something healthy. Pizza or Long John Silver's? A salad. You want a salad? Yeah. You guys better light her up in the comment section below. I offered pizza and salad, or pizza and Long John Silver's. Do you here. feel self-conscious that this has been bad, or is that I just me? I want a me? salad. I feel like this has been great. Mm. Should I read another story? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like we just come up with six or seven little, uh, little stories, and then bing, bada, boom. NPR, let's go. I just feel like, you know, do people want to listen to this? D highly doubt it. But what do people want to listen to besides us? Relatable things like shower routine. I don't know if I've ever been curious as a someone's shower routine. But now that I'm saying that, aren't you curious if someone does the same thing? Like, I kind of think if you don't do the same thing every time, you're kind of crazy. Uh, I agree. <coughs> Oops, it's that sugar-free root beer. My bad, okay? Um, 
let's see. We got to end on like a banger, right? I got to find like a story that just makes me go, wow, that freaking crazy, you know? Mm -hmm. um, ooh, we're like in March. Jesus. That's because NPR isn't releasing many of these stories. I Here's you. one. This is actually kind of okay. cool. A yard sale bull revealed as rare Chinese artifact auctioned off for guess, $2 million. Geez, no, I'll tell you. I'll give you a little more information. We'll see if you can get within, if you get within $100,000, you win. I'll tell you what I want to know. It says. Wait, I'll tell you what I want to know. I want to know where this yard sale was. Yep, you're going to get all that information. And I want to know what the bowl looked like. Okay. A small porcelain bowl oh. that cost $35 at a yard sale. $35 at a yard sale? He, It's a Connecticut man. Archie bought it near New Haven last year. I think New Haven's. He emailed it to this auctioneer's evaluation team. The appraisers estimated it's from the Ming Dynasty the m of the early 1400s. Wow, that would be nice. Okay, to I think I guessed too low. Honestly, at two million. Um, here's the uh, the bull. Okay, I think I guessed too low. I would show you guys, but there ain't no way you're gonna see. I think it. I guessed too low. I'm gonna say. If you're within a hundred thousand, you get to keep the bull. I'm gonna say, from the Ming Dynasty, five million. No. The total number of the price of this bull went for seven hundred twenty-one million thousand oh. dollars. Well, I really over guessed. Yeah, you did. You were closer on the first one. But still, $35? I don't think I'd ever buy a bowl for $35 at a yard sale. Bye, Denver. See you, puppy. I wish you they could see that. She's probably like, I'm sick of these idiots talking about these yep, stupid... Yep, she's just going yeah, another she spot. She gone. Oh, she's so tired. Well... I'd oh. say that was an all-around decent episode. I don't feel great about it, I'll be honest. I feel tremendous about it. We went into this with no clue, no setup, no heart. Are you excited to clean all this up? No. That's your job. Uh-uh. Yes, I no. took her out. You see this jerk? No, I'll pick all of it up because I'm used to doing all the hard work, okay? I'm just scared that something wasn't on recording-wise and we just ruined all of it, but that is not going to happen. So yeah, if this setup looked terrible or if the audio sound bad or if we looked bad or if the news we shared was bad or if the podcast was bad, who cares? It's our It'll first give, one. It's we've not recorded, our first one. It's not our first one. We say that every time. No, we've it's recorded not. two podcasts in the last year. It's, it's good. Yeah. Like... You do anything twice a year, it's going to be bad every single time, okay? So, I don't want to hear it. Hopefully, you guys want more of these. We will do it. We're still trying to figure out what we're going to talk about because eventually we're going to run out of stuff. But if we do do it where we talk about like five random things or something, that would be kind of crazy. Yeah, or I just I think know. we need more specific things because I don't think we're entertaining enough on our own. I think, I mean, I personally think we are, but I don't think other people will. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll play a board game. Ooh. We'll just come in here and play a round of Monopoly, you know, like six hour long podcast. Things, things get real heated. It could uh, it could turn violent. That's all I'll say. But I hope you guys enjoyed the oh, podcast. Oh. oh, hey puppy. I think she's like. I what think is she's kind of like. Can, can we you? should probably end this before she yeah. unplugs one of these things because that would be catastrophic, and I don't know oh, if God. it saves. <laughs> but oh my God! You, oh, you can see the top of her head in the video. Denver, come here. You see her head. Denver, come here. <laughs> Look, her head's on screen. Denver. All right, we're out of here. Denver. Denver, come here. Come here. Oh, come no, here. she's going to jump up. Don't do it. Don't do it, puppy. Denver, Don't look. do it. Look. Come get the flower. Oh, no. Come oh, no. Flower. She's going to jump up. Come on. Come on. Can you say bye? Right. Can you sit? Our family is sit. going goodbye. Down. She wants the flower. Now in 20 minutes when the dog has this flower in her mouth and, mouth and Claire's sad, um, just know that she taught the dog how to do it, not me. But that's the end of the podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe. And I guess that is it. <laughs> Goodbye, people. Drop it. No. And have a good day. 
See ya. Oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. that was I told you. I told. Okay, bye. <laughs>